Does this ball deliver on its bold claims? We're gonna find out today. So the ball in question is this one, the Cut Blue Golf Ball. And I picked these up at Walmart when I was over in America recently. And the bowl claims that they are making are actually stamped on the front of the box. And it says, this ball goes super far and feels crazy good. One dozen tour quality golf balls at an affordable price. That affordable price was $24.95, so roughly about £22. And if we're thinking of tour quality, golf balls were in the realms of pro v1s tp5s that we know are actually closer to that 50 pound mark now so these are pretty much half price if not a little bit more than those golf balls so we're going to put it through its paces today we're going to do a little chipping and putting to get a little bit of feel and idea of green side control i'm going to test it with irons i also want to do a durability test because that's one thing that we see lack sometimes in these cheaper tour quality golf balls and also i want to know how far it's going with the driver because again, that's sometimes an area where it falls down when testing these golf balls. But, oh, finally, a golf ball for the people. We'll be the ones to decide that. Let's give it a go. The Cut Blue Golf Ball, let's test it out. So I've just opened the box up here. This ball goes far and feels crazy good. It's time to test this crazy good feel part with a little chip around the green and a little bit of a putt as well. My first initial impression without even actually hitting a shot here, I'm not a fan of that logo. It just looks a little bit cheap to me, but if it performs, who cares what it looks like? Mm, a little bit firm, a little bit firm. And the old bite. Not as soft as I would expect from a urethane ball, that. Whoa, that had spin. I mean, I nipped that to perfection and it bit like no one's business. Definitely a level of spin to those. Right, so I've had an initial test of them with a wedge and a putter there. And even when I pulled them out of the box, like I say, they looked not quite as premium as others because they're a little bit shiny, the covers. And when you get a tall ball, normally they almost look a little bit duller. A harder ball, tends to have a bit more shine on the cover and that's the feeling I'm getting from these when I chip and a pitch they sound quite loud they sound quite firm when you're hitting with them they don't feel as hard as they sound but they do feel a little bit firmer than maybe a Pro V, a TP5, a Chrome Soft, something along those lines. And I do wonder whether it is something that, you know, is in that shininess there of the cover. When actually chipping with them though, they are responsive. You do get some spin, you do get that green side check and things like that. And then off the putter, they roll nicely. Like I say, it's just that little bit of a firm sound. And even, even when you bite them, if you were to bite a Pro V1 or a TP5, whatever it was, you, you feel your teeth sort of sink into the cover a little bit as well. They feel just that little bit on the firm side. So interesting to see that they're getting the spin, but a little bit firm and a little bit more clickier. So if that's your sort of feel, if you want that from a ball, if you like a little bit of a firmer feel, definitely they're ticking the box on that sense. Let's hit some, uh, some longer irons now, some seven irons and things like that, just to see how they feel with some flights and what they feel like off those irons. Guys, if you're enjoying this video as well, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below there. Totally free to do, loads of free golf information. Let's get back to the review. So we're gonna hit some irons now, and I think this is an area where it probably doesn't get enough credit when testing a golf ball, because the majority of your shots are probably gonna be with an iron when you're out on the golf course. So you wanna know, you know, A, is it going that distance? Is it getting the right feel? And what's the flight like with it? You know, if you are looking for that workability, especially from a premium golf ball, you're probably a player who's able to maybe get a little bit more control on the golf ball. You want to know, you know, if you're trying to hit a little bit of a knockdown shot that the ball isn't just ballooning up into the air. So we'll hit a few different seven irons here and see 
see how it goes. We've got 180 up to the flag. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Looking for a just a standard stock shot here. See what this one feels like. Definitely goes the distance. That's just off the back of the green. First impressions, that firmness that I described with the um, with the chipping and putting, that's carrying on there. I think obviously feels more to do with sounds and I would say the sound is firmer than the actual feel because there is a real real thud to it when you do hit it but it doesn't feel like a top flight would for instance it's not don't get me confused when I'm saying it feels like firm it's not like a brick it's just got that bit more thuddy like sound to it let's hit a, another little one I'm just going to try and hit a little knock down little draw here Well, I got the knockdown bit, I just hit it dead straight. That sounds a little bit firmer, but I don't mind it, you know, I don't mind it. It's a good golf shot, that. Noticing as well, when, uh, when they are landing on the green here, they are starting to stick quite quickly, which is a good sign from being downwind that they're actually having a little bit of bite on them. So I've had a test there with some irons and very much like I say there, that feeling aspect is carrying on through. It sounds that little bit firm. It doesn't feel as harsh as it sounds, but definitely a slighter firm feel to it. Good for distance. I mean, I was downwind there and I was at 185 and pitching them up to the back of the green and the flight control on some other shots that we've hit throughout testing, definitely able to see that you are able to manipulate the golf ball how you want to, whether it's high, low, draws, fades, there is the ability to do that with it. So that is something definitely to bear in mind because I think that's an early early sign to show what I would maybe expect with driver to maybe not see that it's not going to dip off loads in performance but before we test it with driver I just want to put this ball through a bit of a durability test I'm going to hit 10 shots with a new wedge to see how this cover holds up with it looking a bit shinier and a little bit more glossy I would say I'm expecting it not to actually show much signs of wear after this So that was 10 shots with a brand new wedge there and unfortunately it's not stood up to my expectations we are seeing some signs of wear there we're seeing a few gashes and scuffs like i wouldn't expect to have seen like i say from it looking a little bit more glossy i would have expected to not see as much wear as we are seeing on that ball which is unfortunate because at that price point of 24 dollars if you're hitting a couple of wedges out there then you're having to change the golf ball because it is getting to torn to shreds you're probably going to have to buy more golf balls which obviously isn't saving you any money and you could probably opt for something that might cost a little bit more but actually save um, changing it every so often because of the wear and tear so it's time to test it with the big dog and before we get any data I just want to hit some balls out on the course just to give it a bit of an eyeball test see if my vision and my perception of how far it goes actually matches up when we do get it in the studio and hit some golf balls so I'm going to hit some drives out here and see what it's like as well if that firm feel carries on and if like I say does it stack up to that distance sort of perception when I'm hitting them here that's literally the best drive I've ever hit down here interestingly as well didn't feel as firm doesn't uh, stop you hitting bad golf shots still yet to find that golf ball very consistent flight on them very consistent let's hit one more Ooh, that's a bit left interestingly the feel with a driver feels softer than it did with a wedge a putter or an iron and it didn't sound anywhere near as firm which i was expecting that to be the most loud sounding of firmest feeling but it was the opposite distance wise eyeballing it it looks like they're actually doing okay we've got a little bit of a crosswind they looked sort of like roundabout where i'd normally hit them so we're going to head into the studio and find out how far this golf ball actually goes so I've had the initial test out on the golf course and like I say, I thought it was going around about a similar distance than I would expect, but we're gonna have 10 balls and see what the numbers are saying with the cut golf ball. 
positive start. That's long. That is long. That's got to be long, that one. Carry the green. Well, this is interesting. So after testing the ball there in the studio on the GC3, my suspicions were wrong, but in a good way. That is the longest golf ball we have tested this year, coming out at a 299 yard carry, 2000 spin and a 164 mile per hour ball speed. So in distance terms, it is perfect it is sitting at the top of the pile which is good to see like i say when i was on course i was looking and it looked like it was going around about the same distance but obviously there once we got it in the sim and test it it's come out well better than i thought it would do so does the cup golf ball stand up to its bold claims well yeah it does in terms of distance it goes above and beyond we see there it's come out on number one so that is fantastic to see in terms of feel that's very much a personal aspect like i would say it is that sort of firmer feeling golf ball interesting that i found that the driver felt the softest out of all the aspects that we tested but again like i say totally down to you the player as to what you want to feel and hear when you are hitting it the only little niggle for me was that um, durability test to see that it was peeling away so easily but overall at 24 dollars it's got to be a golf ball that finds its way into a lot of players golf bags now because it is really a very good golf ball guys i hope you've enjoyed it like we said earlier hit that subscribe button plenty more to come and we'll see you in a video very soon